It's pretty much social credit score. China's been doing it, and it might come to the States. There was an episode early on in Black Mirror. Oh, the We had a credit score, and yeah, basically, like, you have three stars because you didn't say nice things to me. Right, people they, review yeah, you. Yeah, review you. Like, instead of a credit score, you have a social credit score. Wait, 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 wait. wait. You're telling me that actually exists somewhere? In China. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's already a thing in China. Mm -hmm. That used to be someone's job. That used to be a full person's job where like they would have worked on a video and their job was solely audio to visual synchronization. synchronization. And now it's a button. People are like, oh, it's going to ruin that. But it wasn't big enough that people think now AI is big enough that people think it's going to ruin everyone's job. No. When you watch the first one, Into the Spider-Verse, mm -hmm. Miles moves at 12 frames per second. Every hour of the Spider-Man moves at 24 frames per second. When he starts to get his, um, into his like actual power, yeah, yeah. he hits 24 frames per second. And then, and then in across Spider-Verse, when he's in his best, this is when he's like even more, I think they put him to 60 frames. I like to be able to see like when I'm in the beach, man, it's literally like I'm a danger because I don't know where my stuff stuff is. If I don't have someone with me at the beach, I'm literally walking out there like like I, someone can take all my stuff. <laughs> I would not know. Until I, hate, I hate being blind, man. Like a game. Yeah. Like I would play Sega a lot and 64 as a kid. So that's actually a good starting point because I don't know your gaming history at all. Like growing up? Yeah. I don't know your background <laughs> in it. Cause you don't, I know right now you don't play as much. Not at all, really. Mm -hmm. I want to get into some games. I just, it's just time. And I feel like for me, game is supposed to be like, like you said, it's supposed to be like a release. And for me to get into gaming, the getting into it is a stressor enough where I don't want to get into it. Like it's I would competitive. I would need you to like set everything up for me, get everything ready mm -hmm. and then get it's into the it. Set up part. That's annoying for you. Set up and getting like into it, learning the, like, it's like learning everything by myself, doing all that stuff is not exciting to me. I want to be in something. The one game that really wanted to me, drew me in, and if I had a PC that was allow allowing me to do it, I would probably do it, mm -hmm. is that Pirates game. Oh, Sea of Thieves. Sea of Thieves. Yeah. That was really interesting. But, so is, my it, is it because it's starting something new? Starting something new, and then I don't have most of the game sets. I don't have a PS5, PS4, or mm -hmm. anything like that. So mm -hmm. the games that I do have access to are like limited, like Switch games or something. Gotcha. You. Um, you have a Switch? Oh, yeah. Switch. That's it. What do you have on there? Uh, what was the last time nothing. you? What was the last time you? <laughs> we have the Mario stuff. It? We have the Mario stuff. Yeah, it's it's somewhere in the closet. We have ha all the old games. Have you seen the new Mario movie? Yeah, yeah, we saw that with uh, Chris Pratt and um. Yeah, did you enjoy it? Yeah, it was funny. It was really enjoyable. Um, I liked it. I know the critiques on it were. I think it was kind of unbiased. Like, what were the critiques? I mean, before I think it's it released, because I hate Chris Pratt. I think it's because I hate Chris yeah, but Pratt. before it released, there was the Chris Pratt thing. It was like people don't think that the voice was the right thing. But once it, did once it, it started, and they had that scene where they did the accents did it, for yeah, the yeah, commercial, yeah. it was perfect. It was perfect. And then once they switched to the voices, you're like, actually, thank God, because I wouldn't be able to stand on it for critiques two hours. Critiques hated on it, but actual people that watched it loved it. It was mm -hmm. great for kids, especially. It was amazing. I loved the movie. There's only one person that I've met, which was a cousin of mine, mm -hmm. who watched it and still felt that they wish they had the accent the entire time. Really? I'm like. I think you're just a hater. <laughs> I liked it. I mean, granted, like, due respect to the, to the thing, but I think it was a great uh, setup. I really enjoyed it. Yeah. I really be curious to see Wario in that if they do like uh -huh. a follow up with Wario, kind of like what they did with Sonic. There were Sonic some, movies. There were some potential castings like Pedro Pascal coming in to do. Um, I don't think it was Wario. I think it was. Um, I know they have uh, Waluigi. Waluigi, yeah. I know that they that would be actually interesting. Waluigi is him. I wonder who would be Wario. Um, there was another fan casting for Wario, but I don't remember who it was. Be interesting. That'd uh, be someone big and angry with a big, yeah. with a big beard. You know, honestly speaking, <laughs> not even big beard. The guy who plays um, Kingpin, I feel like he might be an interesting Wario. Oh, that's In a that good one. Scenario, you know, I think he could probably maybe play a good one. Um, no, but like, so my growing up, so Mario, N sixty four, Sega, all through as a kid. Got the PS one when I was really young. I had all the games up until PS3 is when I really started trailing off. Mm. Um, but I used to play a lot with my dad. So me and my dad used to play. We had the, uh, you know the old school <laughs> racing games where you had the, um, the setup with like the pedal and the steering wheel. So I had that. I had a pedal, steering wheel, full setup and would play racing games all the time. FIFA. Um, let me see. Yeah, a lot of those games. So like early on as a kid, I played all the... In vintage things um i was really into it it was almost like i was raised in a different era i listened to michael jackson yeah my dad same uh played sega played sonic um i've played and beat all of sonic games i've played and beat all the mario games as a kid um got angry at them did all the stuff like i remember them it's very much in tune in me um i even had the atari 
as a kid. Oh, my, dad yeah? had, my dad had it. Yeah, my Damn, dad had all these games. Old school. Um, my dad was like an old school gamer yeah. growing up, and so I played all the games. We used to go to arcades a lot. Well, that's actually kid. pretty cool because I would I always imagine what would it be growing up if my dad was into gaming or something mm. like that. You know, I got into it because of my brother. And yeah. actually, to this day, I don't think my dad's ever played a video game. He might have played like Pac-Man really? or something. Yeah, and I've thought about it, and it's funny because I was just doing the couch gaming episode with Brandon, and we played the Quarry, and it's one of the most it's the easiest game you could play especially if you're a newcomer to gaming because mm -hmm. it plays like a movie mm -hmm. and you just make decisions so it's like press x here or two options for dialogue come mm -hmm. up choose the left one choose the right one yeah so i was thinking like if i would ever sit down with my dad and be like hey i think you should experience gaming yeah, yeah. that's like the perfect genre i see you get to actually dictate your path mm -hmm. and there's a lot more consequence it's, it's really fun i think that's a genre that you would enjoy very much i might try it yeah i like things like that like there was one that I played was quote unquote a game. It was Netflix games that they have. Oh, it was yeah, like story yeah. games. And that one I played recently, it was this cool concept where basically you go through the life of the person mm -hmm. and it tracks your eye movement. So every time you blink, so you're like living this a super cool concept. I really would like to play that like VR or with the Apple Vision stuff. Where essentially you hold your phone and you're watching the game. And then when you move, it moves with you. And really? every time you blink, it moves to another moment. And basically you're reliving this guy's life. Bro, what? On it's, Netflix? Oh, dude, it is great. If I, I'll send it to you later. It's like yeah. like through my eyes or something, and it basically tells a story. I don't want to ruin it for you, but it tells a story of this kid, and basically there's like a twist to it, and basically it's like him getting the afterlife and retelling his story and trying to get into basically like heaven, what would be heaven. Mm. And it's basically him trying to tell his life and then his story of his life and actually what it is and what it isn't. And it's like very emotional, super really well done, and like you almost want to stay in moments like, you're with your mom and you're happy and then it's like blink and then you like lose that moment and then you jump you don't know how much time you're gonna jump forward or not damn really cool concept and i would like i can't believe things. i didn't even hear about that did yeah. you it popped up on netflix one day and i just wanted to watch it did you try bandersnatch the black mirror movie thing where you could no. choose your no choose the decisions throughout it no i've done one like that i might have done bandersnatch i don't remember if we did there was that one and bear grills did one where you could choose like okay eat the snake instead of the rat Go up the canyon instead of going through the lake, which was pretty cool. But after like two episodes, you're like, you know what? I think I'd rather just get the normal one. You know which one was cool that I didn't get to do either? The kaleidoscope mm. one with the guy from Breaking Bad. Um, I didn't forget his name. He's in Breaking Bad. He's in Star Wars. He's like always the bad guy. He's the bad guy in. Oh, dude, every time you ask me about names, bro, you We're know I'm not names, a names but he's guy. Like, okay, he's like the darker skinned um, dude. He's He's Gus. Oh, yeah. Gus Frank. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's he's in Star Wars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, um, uh, Kaleidoscope, fucking... where, like, any, you could play the series anywhere, and it, depending on how you play it. Yes, yeah, someone was one, just telling me about that. You can start that. with violet or black or green or whatever, and you, depending on which way you play it, it tells a different, like, timeline of the story. And different someone was just telling me that, and they mentioned that I think there's, like, a white episode, and that's the yeah. one you want to end with. So there is kind of, like, Th like thought process, yeah. an ending that they want you to go to, but you can watch it in any way. I think it's kind of cool. I like stuff like that. I even heard that Spider-Man across the Spider-Verse, even though I haven't watched it yet, which, unfortunately, I would love to talk about that, but I even heard that, that they've been releasing it with small variants of the movie. I saw that on TikTok, but I, I didn't realize that that was actually released. I thought it was someone, like, showing, okay, this was the footage that we thought about doing and mm -hmm. this is what was released you're no, saying that people have gone to theaters and seen different scenes doing. yeah i hadn't read into it because i also don't want to get spoiled yeah I but get I, it. I believe it's not big things but it's small things that i like oh here's a variant like instead of fighting this person they're fighting this person and there's little variants of like which spider-man is coming after him at a certain time is like, what i think it's super cool and there's how would you how would you even think about the rendering you would have to render a two and, and a half hour movie, movie multiple though. times i know this i know the back I, I read into a lot of the back end of stuff and they use a lot of ai so that, i guess they were able to facilitate a lot of that workmanship mm -hmm. through ai work because think about how much it, like time it eliminates to do the basics even something small so something that's interesting um i watched this breakdown when you watch the first one into the spider-verse mm -hmm. he miles moves at 12 frames per second everyone else Every hour of the Spider Man moves at twenty four frames per second. Really? When he starts wow. to get his his when he starts to get his um into the, his like actual power, yeah, yeah. he hits twenty four frames per second. And then and then and across Spider Verse, when he's in his best, this is when he's like even more. I think they put him to sixty frames. So they wow. So they show like that. Um, God, so those bro, type of things are, are so I think, super, fucking creative. Super creative. Even something. So I know that the movie they have a lot of references to forty two. That's been since Into the Spider-Verse. The spider that bit him was a 42. All these things were yeah, yeah, all yeah. across um, the movies. So those small details to me 
Like once you know that, it's like, oh, that's super impressive. No, I mean, especially as a creative, when I hear things like that, I'm like, man, maybe I'm just not being creative enough or thinking hard I enough think so. about finding new ways to present content or like ways to manipulate things to tell a bigger story. Because there's a story within choosing frames, you know, that's, true, that's true, true. so dope. But I think it's when you have the capacity. Like true, if, if you're like true. a... Yeah, okay, if okay. I had like a, you know, a $20 million budget, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I could probably do whatever the fuck I want. Exactly. Like, okay, if I told you today to make your own Miles Morales Spider-Man, you're like, all right, let me get like a Amazon order. Like yeah. you got $1,000, make that, you know, you're yeah, going to yeah. use your regular cameras, but they're using freaking AI person like each person still even though they're using ai they're still using people that are going through each one mm -hmm. they're using the soundtracks are always on point yeah everything's like it's a spoiler but i already know about it so it's kind of rough so it's not a spoiler to no me. but don't even say it because but I already know some it. people haven't seen it either it's true 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 but there's a thing about okay in the first movie if you rewatch it after you watch the second one mm. when he meets peter parker yeah you see a spider sense yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. the then, colors yeah yeah there's certain things like that where I'm like, I already know certain things because I already, I already couldn't figure things out too because I already know the comics and I also read. Mm. I saw the comics because I remember how Miles Morales became a thing. It was actually through the games, I believe. Or 2099 came through the games and then they had this whole concept about... Well, I think it all started with Donald Glover. He had mentioned that there the should movies, be a... But the, the, it already existed, the game, I believe. No. The first iteration of Miles was the Ultimate Spider-Man comic. Correct. But it didn't happen until I think Donald Glover mentioned that there should be a black Spider-Man. And then it was written. I thought there and was... And then he came to the game. I might be mistaken because you know it's more. The, but I thought it was a video game. And then they made the comics after the video game. I'm pretty sure the video game came first where they had the multiple universes. And then the, they, they saw Miles Morales and took him into... I know that uh, Donald I could be Glover. Wrong. I, I know Donald Glover was a big catalyst for it. No, I'm pretty sure he's like what started the, the invention yeah, yeah. of Miles. Yeah, yeah. Because Miles did not exist. And I think it was a video game, though. I think the first iteration of him was technically a video game that then became the comic. Oh. Because I remember reading something about that, watching something about that, and they were like, "Oh yeah, it actually was that." But Donald Glover did it. Even like he, I watched Community, mm -hmm. and I remember that they were really wanting him to be it, and then mm -hmm. him and Community wearing the Spider-Man thing. Mm -hmm. And I still have hope for him being Prowler. Um, well, I mean, the, technically, uh, yeah, in Spider-Man Homecoming, he is, yeah, yeah. he mentions that he has a, a, a nephew, nephew named yeah. Miles. So, I mean, he basically is the Prowler. Which I think would be really cool. But I go back, going back to AI and stuff yeah, like yeah. that, Cam, I think, had just mentioned, or maybe it was Fam had just mentioned to me that the new Marvel show, Secret Invasion, supposedly the first chunk of the episode, the first epi episode or something, is all AI. Really? It was all created with AI. The starting sequence is really? all AI. Game, it's, it was created by AI, so it's all the pictures and everything. Has That's dope. How do you feel about that? I don't mind it, to be honest. Some people think it's taking away from creativity. I think it's this. It's a new tool, mm -hmm. right? It's like some, some people saying, like, at one point, microphones. People are like, oh, no, you have to learn how to train your voice right. to project better. Right. But it's a tool. I think that it can be used in, properly, improperly. So, yes, AI probably generated it, but I'm 100% positive that it also takes, if you've worked with AI chat and all this stuff, it's only as good as your questions and your prompts. Right. So like if you tell it, hey, make a sequence, it's going to make a sequence and it's going to suck. Mm -hmm. Like you have to give it the right it's still directions. Coming, it's still coming from a and human. on top of that, someone's editing on top of it. It's like you using software. It's like- For sure. I, I think that there's ways to cheat it, but I don't think Marvel's cheating. I haven't seen it. I haven't watched it. For sure. But, but even Brandon was mentioning that right now there's a writer strike. And it's partially because of that, where AI and... I mean, it, but yeah, but it, this is the thing. People always think about this. When Lyft came out and Uber came out, taxi drivers were pissed. It's just technology always come up and you have to yeah, learn how to use it. Yeah, but it's not replacing jobs. It's replacing certain businesses. Like a human is still needed to have, you know, a, a, to do a taxi sure, car, sure, sure, right? Sure. But a human this still is... needed to the AI though. Because True, the is, but maybe CEO you doesn't don't... Know how to write, the CEO doesn't know, how, like people are like, oh, it's going to eliminate jobs. It's going to eliminate jobs. AI no, but I'm not even talking about how far it is right now, like the potential of where it could be in five years. Yeah, but I think... Because right now it's prompt-based, right? You type in what yeah, you yep. need, even with Photoshop, you yeah, know, yeah, doing certain things like that. But, you know, who's to say that there will be a time where there's enough prompts that have been given to the system where now it can formulate its own algorithm and come up with its own ideas based on just keywords I rather still than be actual human, prompts. I, so there's still going to be human interaction. I think this is what happens. It's the people that the people that should be worried about this, the writers, all these things, are the ones that are all right. Mm. Those are all going to be eliminated. It's anything with like uh, in my industry and in sales and tech and stuff. It used to be that you would hire this. I forget who I was watching was talking about this, but it's like it, a lot of times in businesses they're like, okay, hire me one really experienced person or two or three 
cheaper people that are less experienced. So mm -hmm. let's say for example, budget wise, right? You can hire one person that's really good for 150,000 mm -hmm. or hire three people for $50,000 each mm -hmm. that are all right. Yeah. Two people that are right at 50,000 each pays the same as one person that's really good at 150. Mm -hmm. Same, so you're spending the same amount of money, but you have three people that do all right, right? And then one really, even if it's like constructional labor, right? Versus you get one person who's really skilled. Now they get only the hired, really skilled people. And then they use the technology to their advantage. Like I've been using AI at work stuff. Works great. In which ways? Uh, making mundane things. So I made a presentation. I use AI to do a lot of it. I tell them what I'm looking for, put in the websites I need to get extract data from, um, how I want the slides to look like. I need to make slides for a presentation. I go, hey, here's all the data. Here's the information I'm pulling. Here's a product I'm working on. Make 12 slides. I want this agenda, this thing. And then I take that and then I readjust it. So I use Bard, which is the Google one, and then ChatGPT a lot. Some other ones I use sometimes, but I, I use still those. haven't. I use them. I mean, I've I've gone into it, but I still haven't found a way where I can use it for what I do. But I, I mean, if I tried hard enough because of everything that I do do technology wise mm -hmm. in YouTube and filming and editing, I could probably, <laughs> well, I could like, probably okay. use it for sure. Like yours, you know, what would be great for you. It's mm -hmm. like on your YouTube videos, you can plug in. There's a plugin uh, AI plugin for YouTube videos that will extract best clips. Yeah. Clips that it thinks it would be best. Oh, you know what? would actually be dope. And is also time uh, stamping. Time stamping. It does that. It does that. Time stamping, and it tells you uh, summaries of what's happening. So it will go like the fuck at ten up. thirty seconds. Talked about this. Shut game, the this. fuck yeah, up. Literally it saves you tons of time. That's crazy. That was like, it would save you time for someone who's like basic. It's one thing, but if if you're high level, the the people that are worried are low level people that don't have skills. If you have That's the true. skill sets, you can use it to your advantage. That's the worry. Obviously, there's a future and especially worry. Especially if what you're doing is pretty basic. Because when I think about it and I think about... It removes mundane people. Right, exactly. Because I, I think about editing and I think about people like Armand who yeah, yeah. take the YouTube videos, take a two and a half hour piece of content and trim mm -hmm. it down to 30 minutes. I'm like, but the way that he does it, like that can't be replicated and having to insert certain memes and like the timing and but stuff like that. But he can like use the AI pacing. to make it faster for him so he can do his job faster. Yeah, That's especially what trimming. Like I know there's one where it will read... Uh, the audio file in Premiere, mm -hmm. and every time there's a gap, it'll just cut it. Yep. Also, if you put in multiple videos, yep. it'll chop it up so that whenever someone's talking, it'll switch to that scene. Think with this. Fucking crazy. On Premiere, think with this. Premiere has that feature where you can auto synchronize, right? Mm -hmm. That used to be someone's job. Imagine that. Right. That used to be a full person's job where like they would have worked on a video, and their job was solely audio to visual synchronization. synchronization. And now it's a button. People are like, oh, it's going to ruin that. But it wasn't big enough that people think, now AI is big enough that people think it's going to ruin everyone's job. No, Brandon, for example. He's a great writer and gifted, but I'm pretty sure for him to write 10,000 words, multiple pages, it's, just, it's useless. Where he, if he has just a main idea, mm. he puts it in AI, and then he takes that main idea, gets a full script out of it, and then he adjusts it. That's where it goes. Mm. AI is not to the point where it's going to write things by itself. The songs that it's made, it's made AI, you know, there's AI Drake, AI Kanye. Those are good, to a certain extent. Then you get someone who mixes on top of it, you know audio pretty well, you get an AI version of something, and then you adjust it, right? right. That's where I think, I think humans come in the fine tweaking of things. Um, I don't think it eliminates jobs, it just eliminates the, it, it eliminates labor, not skill. So if you're just a laborer in any industry, labor as in like, you just do this one thing, you just do this little thing of, of, on this, you're eliminated. But the highly skilled people up top don't lose their jobs. Thank God, man. Um, <laughs> like, like for you, like you're, you're behind the camera, so you wouldn't, we wouldn't lose it anyways. But it's like, even if you weren't behind the camera, you're editing your visual progress and AI won't eliminate that, but you use AI to like, okay, instead yeah. of me taking hours on time yeah, trying to time increasing stamp, workflow and efficiency, which exactly. is Exactly. That's amazing. what I think it is. I'm more positive on it. I think the negatives are more like, if this thing becomes sentient and try, wants to kill us, <laughs> we suck. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's do, my fear. do we get to like cybernet? I'm like Elon Musk, Terminator like, fearful, like, type yeah, yeah. shit. Like that's possible. Yeah. Speaking of Elon Musk, mm. him did fighting you, Zuck, bro, he's that's fight. fucking crazy. I cannot wait to watch. It. They're gonna fight it out. So I know Zuck <laughs> does, but Zuck is ripped. Yeah, and he does jujitsu tournaments and is one. But Elon, does he train? Does he Nothing. do anything? Nothing. He just got skinny off of uh, on Zempic, which is that like diabetic thing. But like, I don't know. I, He's the richest man in the world. I feel like he could train and pay someone to do it. Uh, Andrew, true, true, true. Andrew I mean, Tate he would need like him. a year or Andrew something. Tate, Andrew Tate offered him to Shut train the fuck him. Up. He did. I don't know if he would. Um, but I mean, kickboxer versus jujitsu. I mean, I don't maybe. Know if, I think they're going to do a boxing match. If they did MMA, I think no, Zuck would murder him. No, Dana White said it would be a UFC cage match. He offered. I don't know if he accepted that. 
I know they're going to do in yeah, Vegas. Because I know, I know in UFC, certain UFC fights, there have been contracts with certain fighters. Obviously, they don't release it to the public, but we'll, they'll be like, okay, you're not allowed to take it to the ground. Just yeah, boxing, Zuck which him. I think is fucked up. I think up. Zuck I would think... murder him because Zuck has been training. It's not even like I think Zuck's more powerful and just inherently. Just He did the Murphy challenge on um, Memorial Day, whatever it was. What's that? It's where you do, you have a weighted vest and then you do 100 push-ups. You run like 10 kilometers. You do a whole bunch of things. 100 push-ups, you swim, you do a whole bunch of things. That's like to honor the veterans. Oh. A whole bunch of stuff. And he did all that to like do that. He's been always, tra- he's been training a lot. Like he's a, the biggest nerd on the planet, I think. And just like the way he looks like a freaking red, you know, he looks like a lizard man, but he's been training. So like if anyone messes with him, I think he's ready. Like even his kids are ready. He's been doing a lot. Um, I think he would wreck Zuck. Uh, Zuckerberg would wreck Musk today with times Agreed. of training in a f- boxing match. It's different. Boxing is very different. And just like, or kickboxing or just boxing. It's very yeah, different. But in, in MMA. If, if you're an elite jujitsu, you're good. I don't think so. I think you're good on the ground. Especially if you, yeah, if but you just take fight. it to the ground. You're good on a street fight. But I don't fight. think they would do a street fight. If no, jiu-jitsu like is what like, he does, then they're not going to limit it to just boxing. That would be stupid. Why would no. he do that? I mean, the, he, but, doesn't, he doesn't train that way. He doesn't Conor use McGregor did. Uh, you're wearing Conor McGregor right now. Conor McGregor did that with uh, Mayweather. He did yeah, but boxing. he punches. You know what I'm saying? Sure, like, sure, sure. He's a martial artist. Yeah, so I'm the saying like. Zuck does jiu-jitsu, so there's no but, physical, there's no punching. you have one person that does jiu-jitsu, and then you have one person that does nothing. So they they probably do boxing. Okay, okay, I see what you're saying. Like, to, find no, the, you, to find it, a medium. Yeah, 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 yeah. To find a medium. Uh, it's like Mark, boxing. Mark does MMA. Mark does MMA? Yeah, he trims MMA jujitsu. Like he he. Oh, I thought he just did jujitsu. No, he does a lot, man. He's he's been training, training. He's been doing a lot. Like it's interesting to see that guy who looks so scrawny. I don't know what I've never seen a shirtless picture of him outside of like that one uh, him surfing and he looks like a freaking ghost. Yeah. Um, which. No, he looks he looks good now. Yeah, he's he's been training a lot, and I mean, you have billions of dollars, you can do it. Zuckerberg doesn't do that. Or Musk doesn't do that. Musk is just solely his brain. But yeah. I think if you give him a year's time, I think he's like that type of person where he obsesses over something and just yeah, I he mean, doesn't people, live a lot of luxury. He lives in a tiny home on the base in Austin. Yeah, I mean, his, people like, like that at that level of consciousness. I mean, anything they put their mind to, they can I think be they can great do. at. Yeah, it's just if you give them a year time to train, I think yeah, it'd be yeah, dope. Yeah. Especially people like that when it comes to commitment. Like if they know that they're, you know, eyeing something and they need to be committed to it, the discipline, all that, they have all those tools. That'd be a huge fight, by the way. Dana said that he thinks it would be three times the income of Connor and Floyd. Oh, 100%. Which because now you're hitting markets all around the world. Nuts. You're hitting yeah, markets all around the world. Like everybody would watch. Yeah. Even though they never watched fighting watch. ever before, I would watch it. I would watch that as a bare knuckle fight. I would love to see that. Holy shit, bro. You would be the best. Have you thing. seen bare knuckle? We were just watching a video uh in the car right here. Uh really quickly, like I showed. It was like this girl who just did bare knuckle and like and she's like, she's like, Oh, it's great, it was so much fun, and her face is wrecked. Fucked like up. Oh, <laughs> just blood everywhere. Fucked up, bro. Oh, I'm like, um, I'm good. Like, <laughs> like, it made me uncomfortable. Uh I think I'm pretty sure it's Mike Perry was just on Joe Rogan and yeah. he does bare knuckle and he just had a fight. It's fucking wild, man. Yeah. He talks about how he needs to hold his hands so tight mm-hmm. so that when he hits someone's face, it just won't destroy his hand and break yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Because without the gloves, man, there's literally no protection. No protection. Those fights are fucking wild, bro. Oh, yeah. There's, you come out there like it's the bloodiest, nastiest fights. It's bare the closest knuckle thing bu- to getting bare to knuckle, gladiators without bare people Bare knuckle dying. boxing is worse than MMA. In terms of like blood and, and wreckage. Obviously, of course. Like they get freaked, man. Yeah, and, man. I mean, and, I mean, people's most tooth are, teeth yeah. are flying out. It's, it's intense. Nuts. Um, I can't imagine. Like just, I've boxed and my, uh, at some points I have like my knuckles wrecked and, and like bruised up. I can't imagine just hitting human face that much. I've gotten hit in the face. Let me ask you hurt. a question. Yeah. So there's bare knuckle. Yeah. Yeah. And I just said, like, that's probably the closest thing that we get to nowadays, Gladiator and Coliseum. Do you think we ever get to a point where Gladiators come back and there's literally events or, that are fight to the death? Fight Again? to the death? Yes. I think like there's still, there up. probably are still places that do that, like fight clubs. I don't no, think, of course, but I'm talking like, about, like, like mass broadcasted. Appeal? Mass appeal. I think if we get very dystopian, yes. I don't know if we would achieve it in the next... 50 years. Yeah, death is a little too much, right? It's a little bit too much. To like the point of like getting hurt, yeah. I, th- I think there's always just going to be like there's always those people just try to fight for something nowadays mm. and like get offended for things. I don't think that we have, we're in that position. We're too much on this side. Yeah. If we went 
on this side, we're so much on this side that we might allow like people to get wrecked in certain ways, but I don't think we're going to allow them to get out. Um, Are you aware die. of like the events that would happen at the Coliseum? So I yeah, went yeah. to Italy, I told you. And one of the things that blew me away is that I didn't know that they would flood the Coliseum stage. Mm -hmm. They would bring in boats and they would reenact actual boat battles that would yeah, happen. Yeah. It's crazy. With death actually happening in yeah, their yeah. reenactments. Yeah. That's fucking crazy, bro. Mm -hmm. But they were to stars. Think that there was a time that that existed. Yeah, yeah. And you just be there watching. Like, yeah. <laughs> I think it's cool, man. I think. It's I mean, an I honor. do think. I think it's cool and, too. It's and, just crazy to think that we were that barbaric at one point in time. Sure, it's barbaric. It's because we consider you're, barbaric. You're literally watching they, like fifty to one hundred people sure, die at they once would consider, in front of you. They would consider what we do barbaric, like the way that we don't train, the way we don't care about bodies, the way that we lay down all the time, the way that yeah, we're not active. True. They think like so. It's dependent on what's better. It's the same thing when you compare like cultures, right? It's mm -hmm. like, oh, that's uncivilized when you think of Africans eating with their hands and doing things. But it's like, yeah, but they also think like they also they also marry someone at fifteen years old and never have divorced. They they also have tons of kids and they think that's the best thing. They're like, you don't have kids and you're you like a, a family. Everyone should have kids. They also think like. You no matter what, you always protect. Mm -hmm. Like they're the people. So it's like it depends on what's barbaric to people. Some people, the barbaric is the man always has to support and protect the woman, no matter what. Right. So it's like it kind of depends on culture. Because like, yeah, I'm not saying I would. I am advocating in no means for like live <laughs> death. It kind of sounds like you are. But it's also bit. like it's like to the times, you know. No, so it's yeah. like yes, it's, it's, it's barbaric, nuts, but man. those people were stars, you know. And nowadays you have stars in different ways, like where they're hungry, you know, they starve themselves. Or they overeat. You have Nick, you know, Avocado on YouTube who eats a bunch for people on YouTube for their pleasure. That's gross. What'd you say? You ever heard of Nick Avocado? No. Avocado, Avocado, whatever his name is. He's this fat kid, guy. He should be skinny and he's fat. And just goes on YouTube and eats like five pizzas by himself. And does all these things. And he's like, he has like millions of followers and just super eats food, super unhealthy. And people has millions of followers for work. Just watching him eat a lot of food Eat at stuff once. and complain. And, and like, he's like 500 pounds. Super overweight, unhealthy. I mean... And people love it. Just the other day. And that's super barbaric. It, that's terrible. It, I think it was Hulu. No, it might have been HBO Max. People advocate for this stuff all the time. It was like the thousand pound life or something like yeah. that. Bro. But people advocate for it because it's body positivity or whatever. But it's like people are supporting and cheering on someone dying. Because it's not healthy. Like we, we... I'm drinking champagne. I like eating food. But I fast for most days. Outside of like weekend, I fast every day. I eat only between 12 to 8. Mm -hmm. I'm lean as I have, I've, I've been since I was in high school. I weigh 62 kilos, about like 140 pounds maybe. You know your weight in kilos? I So we use kilos on our uh, 63 Why? kilos. I think 63, 64, depending on the day. It depends. Some days it goes up. What? Why? Because we use kilos. Uh, Why? Because Brazilian metrics and your... Uh, you follow Brazilian metrics? Yeah, because she was just in Brazil and Brazil... Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so Brazilian metrics. Um... No, Makes sense. No, no, no. I'm not just like using kilos. Yeah, that, yeah. Right? <laughs> that, feels a, that feels a little bit extra. But no, okay, no, 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 no. I'm not talking. No, I mean, if anything, we all know that our, you know, our system is fucking dumb. Yeah. If the entire so like, world uses a different system, but. Sure, 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 sure. Yeah. Makes no but I, sense. I'm in pounds, but like I'm about 145 pounds, 140 pounds, depending on the day. My my weight varies from like 63 pounds, 63 kilos to 66 kilos. So I, I, I vary three kilos depending on the day and time I weigh myself. So pounds wise, probably 140, 145. And I used to be 165. And it's just by me changing a simple diet thing and walking more. But it's like, there are people that see American lifestyles, barbaric, terrible. We corn syrup on everything. Freaking everything has corn syrup or some type of chemical. It just really depends on what we're trying to do. And the f overweightness is just a common thing, mm -hmm. right? So it's like, is that any better that people are plotting YouTube viewers doing this or damaging their body. Like people will watch drinking things like let's drink champs and stuff like that. Like, oh my God. We talked about that last yeah, time. Yeah. Like you're basically like there's different forms of killing yourself, I guess. And people will watch it all the time. Just going off of that thought, let me ask you, because you've lived in three different states. Three. Yeah. Three different states. One, two, three. Yeah. Three different states, a couple places, cities. and stuff. Would you say that you've noticed like a different in food and how... Yeah, hundred percent. It affects your body in each 100%. state, and I think it also depends on where you're getting your food. So if you're eating out versus not of eating, of course, out. of course. But I think that, but just you know, food doing your normal deli and stuff like that. Have you felt that you? I feel like Florida has had the best so far. Florida has the best overall. Hmm. Overall, has the best fruits, most natural yeah, quality. Yeah, so many fruits and stuff. Like think about this. Like in Miami, uh, in Florida, I can go to Miami. I can go to all these places. I can get. Um, Brazilian fruits I can get yeah. like all the Florian fruits are just so natural citrus everything like that Georgia 
peaches are right there. Mm -hmm. Like freaking. I asked because I think now that I've lived in Massachusetts and in Georgia, mm -hmm. Massachusetts is just I, the food feels different mm. than Georgia. Do you think better or worse? Worse. Okay, I was gonna say. Worse. I, was gonna say, I didn't know your perspective was. I, I'm like, I just feel like so much worse when I go back up there. Yeah, I I'm mean, like, it just feels because it, it's all not shit. only outside is of it, lobster exactly it's pretty, outside like lobster and seafood, it's just all worse. Mm -hmm. I sleep later, you know. So you knock out what, like eight thirty now, nine o'clock. I'm in sleep. bed at least. I'm in bed at least by eight o'clock. No, no. Later. I rarely, rarely ever knock out before twelve. Unless I have a project to work on, I'm not. In, there's a, very rarely that you're gonna see me up and about at eight. I'm usually in bed, and I might stay up a little bit later, but I'm trying to sleep. Um, I wish, man. The the goal is, from what I've read, is and what I've seen is try not to eat three hours before you sleep, mm -hmm. and not drink at least two hours before sleep. Don't touch your phone for at least an hour before you sleep. Like any any lights is the goal, right? No, I'm not saying the one that I'm worse at is like phone. I watch a lot of like YouTube videos. Yeah, I'm off social media, but I watch a ton of YouTube videos. Um, I like I like watching things, reading things. Um, yeah, that's something I'll never change. I mean, even from my childhood, every night going to bed, I need something on. Yeah, I'm you, not have like that. You, you have a TV in your room. I do. Yeah, I do too. We have. I don't it, have a TV in the living room. We have it have on a rolling room. mount, so that I can roll it bring it to my office if I want to. Oh, There's yeah. There's certain times yeah, yeah, that yeah. we're like, okay, maybe That's the cool. UFC is on, so we'll put the prelims on the big TV, and then Bella will be gaming like on the small TV so that we can move Does it Bella around. Does Bella game? Yeah. Like right she now, games she, on her own? Like She doesn't game just with you. She games on her own. Yes. That's cool. Right now she's playing Sims a lot. She put Sims? about... Yep, Sims. That still exists? She fucking loves Sims. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I played Sims when I was a kid. Yeah, of course. Because it was super cool. Like It was like the... Almost Sims like 3, I think. Maybe Sims Four, something like that. Really, it's good. She loves it. She she created, but us, yeah. me, like looking very similar. We have a house. <laughs> and she she loves doing that. Uh, and Hogwarts Legacy that came out, I think, in February. She put in fifteen hours you into that Hogwarts, game. Right? Can huh? you kill people and just do random stuff in Hogwarts, or no? Can yeah. you not become like a full villain? Yeah, you can. You could. Okay. Yeah. Like, I'm not saying like I want to murder people. Well, like, I, like, I mean, I want to become like Voldemort. You can't kill other students, but I think if you did on PC, there are mods where you can actually kill like I would like to other students and professors and stuff. But they'll spawn back in. It's not like they're removed from the game entirely, and then you go into the mm. classroom and the professors quick, like quick where? Off topic. Like, like, quick off that? topic, right? Yeah, yeah. Is I'm always frustrated with Voldemort because they're like, oh, he's the biggest bad. I'm like, he kind of sucks as a villain. When you actually think about it, he wants to live forever, right? Do you live to 74 or something? He's too fucking petty, bro. Well, way too yeah, petty. Yeah, so what? Harry lived. Move on. Do but, something but, else. But I'm saying, like, what did he do? Like, my thing is, like, my thing is, he's like, okay, he, his goal is to live forever, right? He's like, he even sounds like Snape when he kills, like, only I can live forever. I'm like, barely. Snape was older than you when you killed him. Voldor, uh, Dumbledore was older than you. Everyone's older than him. All his teachers lived no. and he died. No, I he don't think. He would have lived longer. If he just lived a normal life, because apparently wizards live to Mad Long, all the wizards that knew him are older than him. Um, uh, what's his name? Ron's parents, freaking Harry's parents, all of them are like of age or older than Voldemort. Dumbledore is like 150 when he dies. Snape is probably like 80, and he was like a, a teacher or whatever. He's a little bit older than Voldemort, or maybe around the same age. I don't actually know their ages, but they all live to be pretty old. And Voldemort did all of that work, had all those Horcruxes, and still died at like 74. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm going to live longer than him. And I'm not the world's most powerful no. like Honestly, wizard. Honestly, if I'm like, thinking about a... villains and stuff like that, I don't even put Voldem Voldemort in like my top nah. fucking 25. Now, if Dumbledore became evil, I would be scared. Oh, yeah. Dumbledore was scary. I think we talked about this in another podcast or something, but covering Dumbledore should have been where they really leaned into. 100%. I really liked... He, I mean, dope character. Um, I think that the prequels that they did, the Fantastic Beasts, they Trash. messed up. Mad Mickelson's would have been, I don't have anything against Johnny Depp, especially him. once he's gone, like the whole court case is over and now they show that like, the yes, the relationship was messy, but he's not just a freaking abuse against Amber Heard. But <laughs> the whole switching, like the character that he played like three times was terrible because they had the one character and then it was like, oh, mm -hmm. this is a farce. It's not really him. Mm -hmm. It's this guy. And then that's this guy. It's like, it's too much. If Mad Mickelson did it the entire time, I would love it. Actually, because my brain is all over the place. Yeah. There's AI <laughs> that, have you seen this? There's AI that actually lets you, there's this theory, uh, this concept of you go into Netflix 
and you have your profile and then you make AI replace characters for you. So you can watch a, you can watch Fantastic Beasts and the AI will replace with deepfakes all of them for Mad Mickelson. So Mad Mickelson will play all of that character. And so you could watch, for example, think of a movie that you would want to watch. So people are based, so you could basically mod a movie or a television show now. Exactly. Because people do that in with games. AI. With AI. There's, so th you've, I think I've showed you clips. Like there's certain yeah, yeah. games where people will completely change the characters. I, I used to have uh, Jailbroken GTA and I'd be Superman. Mm. And literally he'd just be Superman and, and punching things and flying Yeah, yeah I remember that yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. when Hogwarts Legacy came out, there was someone that did Shrek. <laughs> so you'd be Shrek on the broomstick. Yeah. Like, what the fuck it's is fine. he doing? Yeah, 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 but like, think so about you that. you can like, mod movies and shit. I mean, this. bro. I think it would be amazing. And imagine crazy. like an algorithm knowing what you like. And then instead of you watching freaking um, whatever movie, it's this movie with an AI that knows you and knows that you love freaking put in whatever actor. Mm playing the movie like breaking bad with instead of like brian cranston and yeah uh aaron paul you have freaking i don't know i mean it'd be great at that pace you'll probably be able to actually change certain decisions or outcomes within those shows come up with your, your own ending and stuff like have that. you seen black mirror the new series first new two episodes season. Did you, so you watched uh, the one is awful, whatever Jane is awful? Yes. That Holy idea. fucking shit. That was That so blew good. my mind, bro. So when they get to the end and it's like, actually, you're not the real person, you're the character. I yeah, was like, yeah. that was great. I was, that was, I love that. I love that. Genius. That show was, that show was crazy, man. I love how but they're making fun of nuts. Netflix so much and Netflix just allowed it too. They're like, yeah, we're terrible. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> they own it. Why not? Yeah. And that's what Black Mirror is. It's supposed to be a reflection of, you know, real yeah, life and stuff like that and what people are actually thinking. I love that episode though. And I think that's what the future is. It's AI generated content for you. So you're watching Netflix or whatever. And I honestly the fact that they put it in Black Mirror, I feel like they're like, Yeah, this is gonna happen. Which is pretty much social credit score. China's been doing it and it might come to the States. Those little social credit score where you have like a score. There was an episode early on in Black Mirror. Oh, the where you have a credit score and you like basically like you have three stars. Because you didn't say nice things to me. Right, people then, review you. Yeah, yeah, review you. Like, instead of a credit score, you have a social credit score. Wait, 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 wait. wait. You're telling me that actually exists somewhere? In China. Yeah. They have cameras, and if you jaywalk, they will ding you. People will ding you yourself. And in, credit score, the, in China, they have social credit scores. Yeah, yeah. It's already a thing in China. It's been a thing for the last couple of years. How? They all have it. Yeah. No, but how do you know that that person's... Because they all use, um, I don't know if it's the WeChat. I know they a lot use WeChat because I was supposed to go to Shanghai, so I was downloading all the things. I don't know if it's the WeChat or what it is, but they use something there to do your social credit scores out there. It's the thing they're trying to put in the States. They're trying to tax you and ding you for like how much you drive your cars and stuff like that. So they're going to try to incorporate it around the so world. So give me other examples. You mentioned jaywalking. What are the things that could they actually establish where you could... Bad manners, you if you have criminal records, things like that. It becomes like your thing so people know who you are. It's basically a walking credit score, basically. A walking score of you. You like that? No, I hate all this stuff. It's fucking crazy. Oh, no, I hate all of the, those things. I'm not a fan of all those things. I think it's interesting. Like, the AI on Netflix, I think it's interesting, but I'm also like, why does it know this much about me? I don't like that. Bro, just the other day, uh, I think it was last Friday, I took Bella golfing. Mm. Golfing, golfing? So we went to Kimball Farms, Western, Western yeah, Massachusetts. Yeah, Kimball Farms. I, th the, I thought you would know it if I mentioned it. That's the one it. I was just talking about. The, they, isn't Kimball Farms the one they have the um, batting the, cages? The boating, they the have, boating, yes. The boating uh, yes. bumper cars? Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. So I was I just talking even, about it yesterday. I didn't even know this existed, but it's a nine-hole golf course, mm -hmm. but each hole is only like 50 yards away. Yeah. So it's kind of like amateur golfing. And I was like, oh, my God, this is a great way to practice. Yeah. Especially with Top Golf coming up today. I was like, <laughs> I was kind of excited, and I didn't want to just play mini golf. So we played it. Bella actually beat me. She's, really? Yeah, she's nice. Man. Killer. But got home, went on TikTok. First 30 videos, Things. golf. Golf. Yep, they know you. You motherfuckers, They bro. track you and they hear what you're saying. Bro, it's the thing that you say. Literally in the episode, they say it, but it, you say something, I expect to get it. That's why I'm off, I'm off social media, all the things. Me too. YouTube is pretty good on it, but it's not even that. No, YouTube, YouTube does not do it. I think YouTube's pretty tight. But, they're, but they are tied to Google. So everything I Google search. So I Google search the location so right. it knows that I want to watch this thing. You know? Right, right, like right. Right now, it's, right now, what it feeds me is Urban Mate stuff because I, I like Urban Mate and I want to drink it. So I got a lot of videos about Urban Mate stuff, which is that little, you know, the Shimaho mm -hmm. Urban Mate thing. I still think YouTube has the best algorithm. 100%, million percent. Because I hate it. Google too. Like you yes. think about like, it's not a social media. And 
I say I'm off social media, I'm on YouTube. I try not, the only thing I try to avoid is the shorts because then I get stuck in that loop of like, yep. and yep. that's what I try Same. to avoid. Like, I don't want to kill my attention span. Exactly. Um, but I love YouTube. And that's a great, best that's a great point, man. Killing attention span. Because you notice if you're on, if, if you're someone that's scrolling like on TikTok, mm -hmm. you're giving yourself ADHD or ADD. Well, there's a study in there right now where they're trying to basically for a lot of things now, they're, tr they basically have to incorporate another thing to keep people's attention. And so the people are concerned, like, are movies going to need to incorporate something else? Yes, just to keep movies are dying because this generation can't is watch used two to two seconds worth of content. Give me 30 seconds worth of it and I can get it. Yeah. It's literally 30 second content. Sad. Is like the king. It's very sad because I think it's going to affect in many other ways oh. other than just consuming media. Like, thousand percent. I mean, if it affects your attention span, then just having normal interactions with humans, it's like you're having a chat like this and after 30 seconds, you're checked out. Yeah. You I have can't to hit even a talk to somebody. Well, this is too boring right now. I have to hit a nugget right now. I have to say like, something crazy right now so people get their attention again you know mm -hmm. it's like that michael scott uh the office thing where it's like sex <laughs> now that i got your attention yeah 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 we're cutting back hours <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's like you know it's like i have to hit the algorithm i have to hit your attention span and when it's it shouldn't be that it should be much more like i don't it's know people sad, can't just man. listen to things it's, it's, something it's like, very sad well something simple not to critique you or anything but it's like when's the last time you read a book like i know i've been faulting on it. i've been trying to read books i have a stack of books at home and i'm like Man, I have to catch myself. I'm like, I have to get back into reading my book. I have to get back into doing this, um, yeah. journaling, doing these things. Like, I have to actually keep tabs on myself because I get stuck into this. And that's why I try to avoid the. I try not to open YouTube too much on my phone unless I'm going to play it and I have the, the premium and I put on my headphones in. And then I just listen to a video because if I go into shorts, it pulls me in. And on the desktop, it's there are shorts there, but it's very yeah, unintuitive. It's not made for desktop. It's not for me. So I, I usually just try to use it on my screen when I'm working. Yeah, I'm never. I'm never on TikTok. Deleted Twitter. Don't have yeah, I don't have TikTok. I'm not on Instagram Reels, no, YouTube no, no, no. Shorts, because I, I noticed it right away. I yeah. was like, I don't like how this is affecting me in real life. Yep. I mean, there's so many different things. Attention span, comparing. Yep. All those different reasons. Yeah, you can, it's it, poison, for you, man. it's like you have to be on there in terms of a, a poster because you have to put your brand. Well, that's but why. But being on there as yourself using it is terrible. Exactly, and that's why it was so important to create a team for me because now I have Armand doing all the posting, so I really have no reason to, to be, be on there. social media in the first place. Yeah. And that's kind of why I created that position so that he could do that because I don't want to be on social media. Yeah. I really find just there's really no benefit. Nope. The only times that I enjoyed is like, oh, I found a video that made me think of my friend. Let me share it yeah, to yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that kind of creates like I a, miss that. You know, constant communication. I don't have to text. It's like, oh, I thought of you. Let me send it to you. And then they send me something back. And it's like, oh, it's cool to see that you sent that to me because you know I would enjoy it or I thought it was funny. But other than that, man, everything that it offers, I hate. What's the crazy thing is social media was originally created like Facebook, like the MySpace, the originators of this was to connect with people more. Mm -hmm. And I feel like nowadays it connects with you less. I eliminated it in December, January, and I feel so much like... If you do it with social media fast, bro, it feels so good, man. You never want to come back. Every time I go on vacation or I do a little travel like this way for the weekend and when I went to Colombia back in December for two weeks, mm -hmm. I'm not on my phone because I can't. There's just so much going on. And I come back home feeling so good, man. Just so much happier. My attention span, I just feel so much more and immersed you live the in moments. the moment. Yes, I'm in the moment. Anytime I catch myself going back into the loop, I mean, now I don't do it anymore. But mm -hmm. even then, when I would come back from those trips and go back to my phone, I notice my quality of life just significantly decreases. Well, it's the same thing. It's like, you know what it is? It's like I use the very niche thing that everyone's been a part of. You're about to eat dinner have a good meal, you have all your friends, and then that one person's like, wait one second, guys. And it's like, I just want to eat the food. <laughs> that was, really that was me on this trip, and, though. And <laughs> it's, it's not a problem to take a photo. Like, I don't think yeah. there's a problem taking a photo. Like, we were doing the cigar, and you took a photo of, like, this says no smoking, and I was smoking yeah, a cigar. Yeah, yeah. That's a fun moment, but it didn't stop the moment. Mm -hmm. It's only a problem when it stops the moment where it's like, oh, smile more, do this. And it's like, now it's become a thing where it's like, if you get like a... Uh, what is it called when you have a, a candid photo? Yeah. Photo, I'm okay with that. I honestly love the idea of carrying a film camera, a regular camera, taking the photo and being done with it. I think they, they have an idea where the new iPhones, the 15s, might have a button to go right to camera. It should. Be, I, I mean, mean, it's pretty close. You just I mean, open it and press one button. Now. Press this, this. Yeah, it's not hard. But if, even if you have a button, I just click it and take a photo. I'd love that and just go back onto my day. Or, or like just give me the contact or the glasses. Oh, yeah, 100%, Move on. 100%. I don't even need to open up any 100%. software, see any menu screen, and just move Speaking on with my which, life. Have you liked 
Did you see the Vision Pros? Yes. What do you I've think actually about talked about it on basically every podcast that I've done this week. <laughs> really? Yeah, yes, because yeah. it's, what do you think just, about it? it's what do you think wild, about? man. What, are I think you a fan or not a fan? I think the price point is outrageous, but what do you think about like it on its Huge own? fan, you know, and even listening to Zuckerberg talking about it, with the price point, it's okay because I think that now that Apple is in the game, yeah. it's going to bring in the money, it's going to bring in the budget, it's going to bring the in iPhone. the competitors, it's going to bring in the competitors, it's yeah. going to bring... Um, you know, the priority towards technology to try and further advance that. And then in, you know, two to three years, it's already going to, I would say in about five years, we'll probably get it close to like 1500, you know, yeah. and then in 10 years, it's going to be like an Xbox. It's going to be like 600, you know, $700. I'm trying to convince a, a job of mine to stipend it for me. That's my goal. <laughs> Cause then I don't need multiple screens. Like don't send no, me, don't send me, don't buy yeah. three monitors in a thing. Cause I like, I have jobs that are Dang, talking that's about. Actually a, facts. And you definitely could screens, get away with that. I'm like, don't send me that. Send me a MacBook. And that, or not even a MacBook, because I don't even Apple need the Mac. Vision, I don't even it. need the Mac. If you send me the Apple Vision, you don't need to buy the Mac, and you don't need to buy the, the monitors, monitors, the cables, none of everything. that. Because if you do the monitors, let's say it's thousand dollars with the monitors, and the laptops, like Twitter, the laptop they sent me was the newer MacBook Pro, the one with like the the M2, like the one that first did like the mm -hmm, little mm -hmm. notch. That's like a three thousand dollar Mac, I think, yeah. or four thousand dollar Mac. Yeah. If you eliminate that, that's already the price of the Vision, and then the screens that they sent. So it's like, it's very don't smart. send me any of that. Don't send me a thousand dollar stipend. Give me that. If I can give him a job to give me that, I'm and, set. But to go even further, not even just equipment for your work, but having to buy a television. Oh, I think it's, I'm worried about the EMFs, that type of stuff. I try to avoid that stuff. I even use cable things sometimes. But at the same time, I'm like that. I'm also like, that is so cool. I watched that freaking video and I thought about it. Imagine like you in bed, you both put on your thing. No need to have a freaking TV in the room, which eliminates space. It's tacky, all these things. You have this giant thing. And my biggest pet peeve with VR was the idea that you disconnect from the person next to you. Mm. Like I put it on and I don't see anything. I don't like the idea of putting an Oculus and not seeing you. Mm. But if you can both put on the freaking Apple thing, even though it looks like a scuba diver, which <laughs> I think still looks goofy, but if I'm at my home, I don't mind. So true. Putting it on. It keeps you and still I can see you. in We can see each other and we're watching this together. Like this giant, you know, screen or one of the things is where they put you in like this different environment. I think that's fine by for me because we're both enjoying it together mm -hmm. versus the Oculus where we're separated and there's that like distance. Yeah. I like watching movies with people. If I'm by myself, sure, put on the Oculus, I, I disconnect from the world. But I like the idea of connecting with the person next to me while watching a movie. Mm -hmm. And the idea that we can watch it together in this immersive environment, but see each other, it's kind of like the avatar experience. Like that, that experience where like we're in this together versus separate. Yeah. That was cool for me. That was something where I can see you and it's augmented reality, I would say, not VR. I would say That's that better. one... Uh, the fact that it's integrated into Apple, so just being able to have the software in front of you, yeah, 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 yeah. Just, you, I love that. The idea you and look at the your last Mac thing, and it connects to your eyes and your finger, that to me, super big. I was going to say, the, the last thing that stood out to me and would probably be maybe that thing, you know, being able to interact with the people next to you and it's not the Oculus where, you know, yeah, you're, you're just kind of isolated in your, in your own experience, exactly. But is the way that you interact with it, just being able to touch your fingertips. That's fucking nuts, man. Not having to have a controller, yeah. not having to do anything extra. You just not a freaking like those little like finger. wands. Remember the PS yes. that had the wands yes. and shit. Nothing. It's just Mac, like, yeah. Apple Vision, and I know there's like a cable, probably like a small battery pack. It's a battery, didn't... which I'm oh totally fine with the battery totally pack. Fine. I don't like the battery life. I think the battery life's two hours, three hours. For me, it's like oh, a movie's like two hours. I would want more. Oh, I didn't even know when it's on battery the battery life. pack, unless you plug it in. Which on like for example, I was thinking about like on on, on a flight. I would want it on a flight to like disconnect. There, I would disconnect from the entire world. There, I don't. <laughs> yeah. need, I don't see. Anyone. If I'm by, on a flight by myself, I don't need to see the the crying baby to stick in front of me. I don't need to see anyone near me. I, I need to be alone. But like at home, I would want to see what's around me, right? But I would want it to last a little bit longer. But I'm assuming I could just plug it into like the outlet thing that they mm -hmm. have there. But I think the battery life isn't amazing. But I don't expect to be in anywhere. I'd I, I'd use it in a coffee shop to have multiple screens. That's a big thing for me. I don't want to carry things. Yeah. So if I could have multiple screens and then like work here, that'd be amazing. That's just the first iteration and that's going to continue to change. And as it's like the first money iPod. comes, it's exactly, like the, first the battery life is going to increase. The price point is going to go down. It's and going to be more competitors. I don't think I would efficient. switch. I think I would just stay with. No, I mean, if Samsung comes out with one and fucking Android, whatever. No, I wouldn't Apple's do it. I'm going to go back to Apple. Yeah. yeah. The fact that Apple is in the game is, is what's going to open up all the doors. I was if waiting Apple's for them. in it. Yeah. Changes the game for technology. I really am looking forward to having glasses. Like if I can Same, get glasses. Especially since I have to wear glasses. <laughs> yeah. It's like if you <laughs> could just give me tech glasses. Think about this. Driving. I, I always use this example. Driving would be so much easier if I could just have 
while I'm driving, oh, there's a little area here. Because how many times you miss an exit because you're just like distracted. I'm listening to music. I'm vibing. Facts. And then if I have glasses on, it tells like, you right turn. Yeah, like it literally just has it on the road. Like, oh, you're taking this right. Oh, bet. You know, even if I'm distracted, I see it, you know, because I just zone out sometimes where I'm like listening to a song or something. Those yeah. things I look for. Or like, wow. for example, I'm looking for a store. My idea of it, I remember seeing like a, this like customer, or like person, like uh, someone created an idea for it, like glasses. And they're like in their world and they look around, they're like, oh, this. And they're like, oh, this is Scrabble. And then you can click on it, right? Like not full of ads, but like if you see a store and like you're looking through your glasses, you're like, let me click. What do they have in the menu? Uh, no, I don't like that one. And just walking, so your world becomes interactive. It's like a video game where like that to me is interesting. That reminds me of a uh, free guy. Exactly. When That's you're walking through the street and everything is popping up. Popping That's up. what I imagine. That's why I'm, I don't like VR. I like VR for like very specific, like I want to disconnect from the world. I'm way more pro on AR mm -hmm. and augmented reality. That's why I like the Vision Pro concept. I know you can close out the world, but being in the world and seeing stuff is way better. Mm -hmm. The FaceTime thing's kind of goofy to me. Having like an uh, avatar be your FaceTime person is mm -hmm. kind of interesting. Mm -hmm. I don't really care for that. I don't use FaceTime a lot either, so I don't know that necessarily I'm the client for it. The multiple screens connect to your MacBook instantly. I like that. Like the idea, the same thing where I'm looking at my phone, I can go right to my Mac and see it. I love that. Um, I think a lot of it's cool. I think I'm, I'm really eager to see the further generations when they create more of them and they have like the pro, the regular, you know, mm -hmm. and they're going to have like the SE vision or whatever it is. The future's it is. bright, yeah, man. Yeah. The future's bright for that shit. And I can't wait. I'm so glad that it's happening at a point in time where, you know, I'm still in my 20s and I'm going to be able to see it really evolve by the time I have kids and they're my age and what they're going to be able to experience. Oh, yeah. We're going to be living in a different world. Well, even like, okay, have you heard about the, um, they got the FDA approval for Musk's, going back to Musk, uh, Musk's, um, what is it, Neuralink? They got FDA approved, so now they're they going to start human trials. So think about this. And I mean, that's what he said. He... And when he went on the, Joe, I think he was saying that that would happen within like a year or two. So he was off by like maybe a year or so. Yeah, but, but the COVID, all this. Yeah, true, it, true, but, true. But like not bad. And like the, the idea is like you could implant something in your brain that would give you a lot of talent, give you speaking capacity, eliminate Alzheimer's, all these things. So that your kids could possibly be like, you're trying to teach them math. I'm like, don't worry, dad, I'll, I'll download calculus. Which is like, some people <laughs> hate it, but I'm like... I, it's yeah, but, like, but I hate it's just it and like, I also like, but, it's but also it's really just cool. Like, it's just like anything in life. You have the freedom to choose if that's something that you want to do or not. Yeah. It's up to you. You can live, you can live a life that is free from all technology and sure, that's sure. your, the freedom of choice that you have. But I like the control options technology. being there, you know? I like control technology. I like the idea of Ready Player One where you have technology and then at the end of the movie they decide on Wednesdays we have time off. Like it's closed. Mm. I like the idea of like, okay, I don't like that. I don't like you telling me when no, I need no, to No, 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 I'm telling time. you. I I'll like, decide on my I like, own. No, sure, sure, sure. That's what I'm saying. I like the idea of everyone being like, hey, today I'm going to put my phone on Do Not Disturb. At 8 o'clock at night, on the 8.30ish, my phone's on Do Not Disturb. I'm doing my thing, reading books, <laughs> connecting, whatever. There was like whatever. six months where I had my phone on Do Not Disturb permanently. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I could tell. I could tell. <laughs> yeah. I just, you uh, call me. I'll, when I check my phone, I'll see what I missed. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. don't want to get interrupted because it just gets in the way so oh, 100%. much. It's the worst that if like, you can't even have talk about this. I'm like, yes. yeah, 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 100%. You know, it's like the worst yeah. um, where people are like that, you know? There are a lot of people like that. There are people that can't hold a conversation. It's, it's literally like the the... What do you call it? The um, short stuff. It's like they're living through that 30 seconds. They can give you 30 seconds. And then after that, they have to jump. Interesting world that we're going to live in. I wonder if we're going to create a problem with the attention span and then the neural link is going to be like add more attention span. Sure, for the people that decide to use the neural link, but those that choose not to are all fucked. Would you or would you not get the neural link? If it has like these capacities of like, absolutely. I don't know what I would use it for. You know, I might use it to give See, me better knees. Can it give me like six inches of height? <laughs> maybe, dude. Can okay. I be six have for five? Seen, have you seen I'll those? Do have you seen those? <laughs> okay, so you, have you seen the the? It's become more popular for men. Especially. The knee surgery where people add height. Yeah, that, yeah. Six bro, inches. come on, dude. I would do it if it didn't. I, I, I'm not gonna lie. I, if I could be six foot, I would. The problem is you can't like run ever again. Yeah. And you can't like jump. I'm like, no, I'm good. I like, I like my knees working. My knees are already destroyed. Now you want to <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. redestroy them to yeah, give exactly. me some height? I'm good. And it man. takes like months for like of PT and everything. No. Nah. So I'm like, all that work is too much. Plus, I can't like ever nah. run again. I'm like, I'm good. Those people are just way too insecure. But I'm, I feel I that get way. It I get it though. Like, 
But I feel I'll that I feel that way about everything that has to do with um, what's the word I'm looking for? Just cosmetic cos- surgery. Cosmetic surgery. Yeah, sure, I don't sure. like any of that. I don't like it, but I'm like I understand it. Like okay, my my thought process, is, and it's more of a personal thing, but it's like I think you can do all those things as long as you're not putting your value in those. Like I know that I would uh, I would appreciate being taller. But when do Sam's you, mad tall. But when do you do it without adding va- putting value into it? No. My value is not that. So I'm still, if I'm not fam's height, I'm happy. But I'd be happier. I'd be as happy plus the benefit of being taller. There's a benefit to being taller. Mm. Um, is do you, there? Do you, do you follow what I'm saying? Like, so, like yeah, like just visibility and like those things, you know? There's just like a thing like that. Like, Does it really I think help so. that much more in order to put yourself through fucking surgery and PT? No, and no, no. I'm stuff? saying I wouldn't do it for all those things. I'm mm-hmm. saying if I could just snap my fingers and be taller, I would be taller. That's what I'm saying. I mean, obviously. But it doesn't change my value. But some people, like, their only value is, like, so, like, my, like to them, it's, like, I look ugly because my nose looks bad. Yeah. I don't have a perfect nose. If someone said, hey, there's, like, a no, it's not invasive, there's a medicine you could take that would fix your nose and my nose would be better, I'd take it. But I'm not going to be, like, oh, I'm ugly because my nose. That's what I'm saying. I would love to be taller. If someone said there's a stretch you could do every day and in six months, you'll grow three inches because I'm five, nine-ish. Nine, so I'd be up around... I'd be six feet, just hitting six feet. I would be, I would do it. If you tell me I have to go through PT and not, even if I could walk and run, all the PT and you say three months to six months of like, no, I'm good. Not even along the cost. I think it's like 70 grand. Mm -hmm. I saw a video of some guy doing it and the people reacting. I'm like, I wouldn't do it. But it's like the same thing with like uh, bionicle eyes and like those technologies that think people. I'm like, yeah, if it improves my life, that's, I would do do it. I would do neural link for vision. Yeah, I would do it. I would. I like having glasses as an aesthetic piece, but I would like to take this off and be able to tell <laughs> like, who I'm talking to right now. Like, if you didn't have red glasses on, I'm like, "Hey, yeah, fam, man. how's it going?" You know, yeah, <laughs> like, man. like I like to be able to see. Like, when I'm in the beach, man, it's literally like I'm a danger because mm-hmm. I don't know where my stuff stuff is. If I don't have someone with me at the beach, I'm literally walking out there like, like uh, someone can take all my stuff. <laughs> I would not know. Until. I, hate, I hate being blind, man. Oh, it's being at the, the beach and water parks. Being at the beach and water life, parks. To be honest, is how, being how bad blind. your vision? Uh, I was a negative three twenty five at one point. How so often do you go? By the way, vision, I haven't gone since I was a kid. Like, I haven't gone since I was eighteen. Or or recently, 19. I went about a year and a half ago. But I have the I was, same prescription. I just buy the same glasses all the time. I was negative three twenty five. Then I did another appointment, and it actually went down to two twenty five. Nice. I'm at four. And I was like. Vision can get better. Oh, it can get better. And they're like, yeah, if you know, you can get accustomed to it depending on your lifestyle and you know what you're doing, it can enhance. Your it. Food, I'm like, oh you, shit, your, your food, intake, your food intake, so many different things. So it's gotten better, but and I've actually considered wanting to do LASIK. I have considered LASIK so much. I just am too much of a a baby, and I get worried about the freaking. Yeah. When I hear the horror stories of people getting blinded by it, I'm like, Ugh, I don't want to be blind. Yeah, I don't want to lose like, my vision. Imagine I became. Oh man, I'd be so. You know, I was born deaf, right? So do this. I think you did mention. I was it. deaf until like I was four or five. Mm. Um, you sure then, you're and still not deaf? What? I no. can't hear you. No. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Can you sign that, please? please? Yeah. Um, I could not. I think deafness, like out of fears of like something mm-hmm. I could lose, blindness, I think is the most. Yeah. Let me ask you. Before we head out, yeah, yeah. We're, we're, give we're, me your top three things that you would do if Neuralink was accessible today, and really, I mean, keep it within. It'd have to be mental, right? Yeah, or, I can't or fly, operational. but like, but like, but like, yeah, I can, <laughs> <laughs> I just do the impossible, like things that my body could just Man, do. Like, like, like Neuralink, like, and your like, body just knows fly. how to fly. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I would um, optimize my body. Like, so your brain controls all your organs, right? Optimize. Yeah. Maximum efficiency of the body. My liver runs at 100%. Everything runs okay, at 100%. So, just so like well-being. Well-being. I age the best way possible. All that stuff. Yeah. I would do that, number one. one. De-aging, um, basically. De-aging, like maximum, like... Because like your, your brain can probably send signals and chemicals to per, like kill fat and right. focus on fat and stuff like that. Right, right, so right, right. I would right. have the most... Like, think about when you're a teenager, a your body's hitting on all cylinders. You don't even have to work out and you have a six-pack. You have all these things, right? So that's what I would do. Maximum efficiency in my body. I would do... Um, if it's just I only had three options, like I, I, it's a pay grade, like I have to pay hundred thousand dollars, and I, I don't have another hundred thousand um, until I no get that. No limit, just top no three. Limit. Yeah, top three. I would do second one would be um, to uh, intake information. I would do like um, like processing speed, processing kind of in intake and speed, like 
retention and maximum. Even retention, not even speed. I, I could take some time to do it, but retention. Right. I would want to retain information like crazy. You you watch something, you watch a retain movie, it, well, retain, or you read a book, it. and everything, every retain line it. is. I, I would basically photographic, like I would just want to go through books. I would literally take a month of my life and just go through every single like important thing. Yeah. And then third would probably be um for fun, probably just be like agility, textile, like like just being fully like mobile. That would be it. I actually might steal all of those because I, I don't think anything else body wise like i said i can't fly i can't do all this other stuff i mean obviously there's things like i wish i could just learn piano and stuff but if i could retain stuff i could do that you know yeah. and i could pick what and choose what i want yeah yeah i think that's the perfect pick for me perfect i think i would take the same thing yeah bro thank you for sitting down with me yeah yeah. I cheers, love being man. in dallas we got to do this again soon 100%. um this trip was great man i loved yeah, coming yeah. out here being able to do all this, this i'm is, glad we got to meet up this is the yeah. last thing that i got to do so it was nice to be able to close it out with you and spend some time and now we're gonna go to top golf and do some shit so yeah, yeah, yeah thank you brother thank you man hope Cheers. you had a good time yeah appreciate you have a good one like the video leave a comment blah 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 all that good stuff see ya